Hello everybody, video here for today. This is the new cap recap of The Curse of Oak Island, season 11, episode 22, called Abbey Road, aired April 9th, 2024. If you missed my recaps of previous episodes, there's a link in the upper right. Let's get into it. Do, 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 do. Previously, on The Curse of Oak Island, people have been looking for an incredible treasure for 229 years. After the tunnel drilling at the bottom of the garden shaft apparently pierced a flood tunnel on the last episode, Dr. Spooner and Michael have picked targets close to the baby blob that have tested high for trace evidence of precious metals. The team will at least be able to drill vertically in the short time they have left this season. Narrator Robert Clotworthy sets up the Europe field trip by reminding us that archaeoastronomer Professor Gaspani attributed Nolan's Cross, the Stone Piles, and the Stone Triangle to being built by the Knights Templar in the 1200s. 3,500 miles to the east, Rick, Alex, Peter, and Doug arrive in Moramundo, Italy, and meet Emilio, Professor Gaspani, and his interpreter. Mormundo Abbey, established by Cistercian monks in the 1100s. Emilio points out the top center of the facade as these decorative plates, of which the highlighted ones are similar to the Templar cross and dots design. The group goes inside the abbey And then to the scriptorium, where knowledge was written, studied, and copied. Alex points out the tree of life on the column next to Emilio. Brick spots these oak leaves on a twist of the Templar symbol, with the dots making the cross and the stems of the leaves in the normal dots position. Back on Oak Island, Moya is sifting spoils from the Feature 1 steps portion of the Lot 5 structure and finds what Laird identifies as a button. I don't recall them having named the sections as different features. Uh, maybe we'll get a Lot 5 map graphic in the last two episodes or in an off-season companion show later this year. He gives it to Helen, which shows them in a different feature. And she turns it over, showing where the shank was attached. Over this shot, where you can see other test pits and perhaps other features in the background of Feature 1, Laird says that due to the size and artifacts found that it may have been an industrial structure or something else other than a house. Still in Italy, the group meets at Bianzano Castle, built in the 1200s. This is believed by many religious scholars to have been the Italian headquarters for the Knights Templar. Previously on the show, Professor Gaspani told of his research that found that Nolan's Cross was based on the Cygnus constellation and the external walls of the castle are aligned with the rise and set of Cygnus. In this graphic, the red arrow shows the alignment of the left external wall as well as the alignment of the cross on Oak Island. Inside, Doug sees this eight-pointed star. Bedford, Nova Scotia has its own eight-pointed star carved into a rock 40 miles northeast of Oak Island. Discovered in a medieval church in the 1970s in Cremona, Italy, the Cremona document is an account co-authored by Templar Knight Ralph de Sudele and tells of the order finding religious treasures under King Solomon's Temple in Jerusalem. Also described in the document was a device called an avatar that could track the positions of stars in the night sky for the purposes of constructing buildings and navigating in sailing vessels. Rick and Doug were given a copy of the Cremona document by Zena Halperin, known best for finding the Templar map of Oak Island with locations labeled. Not to be outdone, Professor Gaspani researched it and built his own avatar. He demonstrates how you would use it 
so you would know the correct place for the boulders in Noah's and Lowlands Cross. In the Money Pit area, the drilling begins at the first target called Borehole Avanti 1. Marty and Jack have joined Emma and Laird in the lab for the test results on the button Moya found in Lot 5 Feature 1 Spoils. The button is a tin base with a lead covering shown here in yellow. The screen is a Windows desktop capturing another Windows desktop, perhaps Emma's computer at her desk. The Windows date is October 26, 2023 at 5.06 p.m. and it's a balmy 17 degrees Celsius, which is 62.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not bad for late October that north and that east. Laird says a person of elevated status would have worn the button as it is decorative and Niven dates it to uh, latest 1700s but could go back to the medieval times and Emma adds as early as 1300s. Cor and Maul, co-author of the recently released book The Jerusalem Files, makes another appearance on the show as he has arranged for the field trip to visit the Castor Stone Quarries, a place he believed to be a temporary hiding and storage place as the Knights Templar made their way to Scotland and eventually the New World. Next time on an all new The Curse of Oak Island Season 11, Episode 23, called Cone E Island, the episode synopsis reads as follows. While a trip to Europe continues to uncover clues connecting the Templars to Scandinavian culture and Oak Island, on Oak Island, a clue found beneath the Nolan's Cross boulder may offer answers the team has been desperate for. You can watch the preview for that episode and all the other ones as of the date you're watching this in my Oak Island playlist. Link in the upper right. I'll continue recapping Season 11 late Tuesday nights through the spring as well as continue to do retro recaps of Season 6 through 8. Seasons 1 through 5, 9, 10, and the aired episodes of Season 11 are already done and are in my Oak Island playlist. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Sempre avanti.